the last few years, we have seen tremendous growth in artificial intelligence or AI. What used to be considered to be difficult or open-ended problems not too long back are today seamlessly integrated into our everyday lives. When I started working in AI about 15 years ago, I was working on basic alphabet recognition problems. Fast forward 15 years, and today you can do things like point your phone at text in almost any unfamiliar language and get it translated real time. These advances express that there's enormous potential for AI to help with so many issues in society today. Like in healthcare, where inequity in access is a major issue. Many of us have experienced firsthand the variation in the quality of care, depending on the resources that are available to you. I grew up in India and I moved around a lot, including to rural settings. So I have seen this myself. But I believe that AI has the potential to revolutionize healthcare and its access in the near future. In the same way that things like anesthetics and vaccines revolutionized healthcare in the past. So let's take a look at where AI is in this journey today and what is possible next. We have started to see exciting AI research in healthcare in a number of areas, especially in applications in medical images, like x-rays, CT scans, and so on. I'll use one of the areas that my group works on as an example here. This is in breast cancer imaging. There are over 2 million cases of breast cancer globally every year. Like many of us here, I have also lost close family and friends to breast cancer. It is the most common cancer in women. But early detection is key to survival. As a result, many countries have now adopted breast cancer screening programs, especially for high-risk populations like older women. And these screens are done using mammograms, which are essentially high resolution X-ray images. And these programs have resulted in a dramatic drop in mortality rates. For instance, in European women, in this high risk population, it dropped by over 25%. But these programs are far from perfect. As much as one in five cancers is not detected during screening today. And that is because these mammograms can be difficult to read. You're looking for small and easy to miss lesions and minute changes. Early stage cancers especially can be hard to see sometimes even for expert doctors. So this is where we thought technology might be able to help. And we published research earlier this year showing the power of AI in detecting breast cancer from mammograms. These AI systems learn from over 100,000 examples including several very subtle cases. And we found that the AI was able to detect breast cancer at a performance that routinely exceeded healthcare professionals. This meant that we're able to catch more cancers and catch them earlier when they're still treatable. In these studies, we saw 9% more cancers being detected. This idea of using software for diagnosis has been around for a while. But what is new and exciting now is how far the technology has come and how if adopted at scale, we have the opportunity to bridge some of the disparity that we're seeing in healthcare today. However, this does not mean that the way forward is for AI to be used in the place of human expertise. The human element in healthcare is irreplaceable. We think of this instead as a powerful tool that can augment and supercharge healthcare professionals and enable them to provide better care. For instance, when the sewing machine was introduced, it did not take the place of tailors and shoemakers. Instead, it made them 500% more productive and empowered them to provide better services to a lot more people. Similarly, AI has opened the possibility of providing greater and equitable access to care to anyone and for us to do this in a scalable way because no matter where you're born and what your economic situation might be, you should have access to the same high quality care. Now, one of the major reasons for this disparity in care today is that there's a significant shortage in healthcare experts. We are short by over 18 million healthcare workers. 
But what if AI could help address some of that gap by enabling lightly trained healthcare workers to take on advanced care and so helping us scale up access to care? I mentioned earlier how breast cancer screening programs have been very effective at reducing mortality rates. Yet over half the countries don't have a screening program today. And even those that do, don't always have high adoption rates. For instance, even in the US, it's just a little over 60%. But what if AI could help expand the reach of screening? Imagine if you could have mobile computer-assisted mammography vans that go directly into communities and bring screening to you. This means patients get an immediate diagnosis with follow-up recommendations and on-site counseling. This makes getting access to expert care easier and more efficient. And this idea of expanding the reach of screening is not limited to just breast cancer. We have worked with partners in India and Thailand to enable nurses to screen diabetic patients for diabetic retinopathy in the eye, which is a leading cause of blindness today. For many of these patients, especially those living in rural areas, it can take them up to an entire day to get to a specialty eye hospital. But many of them already live near a primary care center or a vision center. So with the help of AI, we are empowering nurses at these primary care centers to do the screening themselves. So solutions like this, where we are providing frontline health workers with the right tools, can be a critical step in overcoming the barriers in the adoption of screening. And this is where we think the technology can have the greatest impact. Because if this is accepted and adopted at scale, what we're seeing today is just the beginning. We have the opportunity here to improve the quality of life by bringing expert healthcare to anyone. Thank you.